Let me just stop right here and say this. The devil has always used music as a cue to bow. Be careful, young lady, what you let yourself listen to. Be careful, young man, what you allow in your earbuds. Ah. Be careful. Because you don't know what music does to you psychologically as it plays. We just think it's music, but no, no, no. Let me just say this to you. Music is the only element on the planet that was not made on the planet. Music is the only thing in the earth that wasn't made in the earth. Music was made in heaven. Wasn't made here. Everything else that we do and manipulate is all earth made. All earth formed. Everything you see was made here. The lights, the sheetrock. Everything you see was made here. Music wasn't made here. It was made on a different level, a different plane. And so it operates on a different plane. And guess who made music? Not the devil. If you say the devil, I'm going to be mad at you. The devil did not make music. There's no such thing as devil's music. Okay? The devil didn't make music. He was put over in charge of it. But he didn't make it. God made music. And do you know why he made music? So God forms the most powerful element on the planet just about. In music. And God gives it one strategic design. One. One. Music only has one function. And I don't care what degree you have. Or what theological thought you have right now. It's wrong. And I'm right. Music only has one function, and that is worship. That's it. You can't use it for nothing else. You can't use it for nothing else. How can you separate music from its original intent and design? Are you telling me that you can use it for something that God didn't make it for? No, you can't. It's always, music is always about worship. Always. The only thing that changes is the content and what you worship. That's it. That's it. Whatever the lyrics say is what you worship. I'll prove it to you. Genetically, when you listen to music, as soon as you listen to just about 60 seconds of it, your left brain completely shuts off, shuts down. Literally, your left brain completely turns off. And your right brain, which is creative, your left brain is analytical, solves problems. Two plus two is four. That's all left brain. Right brain is creativity. Right brain is long-term memory. Right brain is dreams and aspirations. Right brain is belief systems and passions. That's right brain. That's why women are more emotional and and more creative because women are right brain. And that's why men won't look at a map because we're left brain. And we know. We're not lost. I got this. I just think we, I think we passed Zimbabwe two miles ago. No, we got this. We're, I know where I'm at. I don't need no map. So after you listen to 60 seconds of music, your left brain completely shuts off. And there's no analytical thought process in your brain. So whatever the music is saying is directly dumping into right brain. This is science right now. I'm totally out of the Bible. I'm in science right now. This is scientific. There is a hospital in Toronto, Canada, your country. There is a hospital. A. Isn't that a Canadian word? A. There's a hospital in Toronto right now. They perform one of the most painful surgeries known to mankind. It's a surgery on the femur. Well, in order to give a patient anesthesia for this surgery the anesthesia almost kills the patient so in a in finding a way to get around this they brought in some scientists and the scientists said you know what we'll do we'll let the patient listen to 15 minutes of baroque classical music and after the patient listens to 15 minutes of classical music they only require half of the anesthesia true 
Now, you're going to tell me that you can listen to music and not be affected by it? You've lost your whole mind. 100%. Oh, no, Brother Chavis, I just like the beat. No, 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 it's impossible. It's impossible. Listen to me, it is scientifically impossible to only listen to the beat. You ingest the words. And we wonder why we keep having teenage girls get pregnant. And all they do is listen to songs about fornication. And if I was your girlfriend and I got your man. Hello, somebody. And we wonder why we can't get behind the preacher when he preaches. is because you've allowed the world to preach to you through your earbuds for 30 hours this week. And you expect the preacher to get through to you in an hour? The problem is we're spending more time worshiping the devil and his thoughts and ideas and plans. And we've worshiped the culture all week long through our iPods and our iPhones and our iTunes. And we've worshiped and worshiped and worshiped. And then we come in here and we sing songs about Christ and we can't lift our hands. We're wondering why can I have freedom of worship because you've given out all of your worship. You worshiped all week long. I didn't worship. I'm not worried. Yes, you are. You're sitting in your car driving, bobbing your head. Oh, oh, what is it? This is worship. And they know it. That's why Jay-Z starts his, his uh, concerts by saying, put your hands up. I'm the J to the H to the O to the B to the A. Jehovah. He calls himself Jehovah. And he says, put your hands up. And they do it. Worship, worship, worship. When you hear the sound of music, you bow down. Music's the cue, music's the key. I'm talking to young men and young ladies right now. Your iPods are full of it. Your iPods are full of it. And just because it ain't rap, don't mean it ain't bad. I know Carrie Underwood sang Jesus Take the Wheel and she's singing and she's singing songs about baptism. Well, who do do? Who cares? Her next song's about being half naked and running around with boys and, and tearing up her ex-boyfriend's car. I'm, the, I'm, I'm that guy, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to talk about it. We got young men and young ladies that don't know what to do with the emotions, the natural hormones that are flowing in your body just naturally. But then you're going to listen to music about love and sex and drug abuse uh, and treating women so poorly and listen to all that mess and then come into the house of God and wonder why you can't find freedom and wonder why you can't stop looking at pornography and wondering why you can't stop living how you're living. The devil is a lie. Turn the music off and you won't bow. Get you some Jesus music and worship him all week long. There's some good music out there. Listen to songs about uplifting God. Listen to songs about living for Jesus. Listen to songs about doctrine. Listen to songs about the oneness. Listen to songs that uplift Christ. And you'll find out that you have more peace and you have more favor than you ever had before. Turn off the music.